Hello, ladies and gentlemen, watch 57 double A. I don't know what to call me, I don't really give a shit. Big deal. Anyway, we are here on the brand new Dude Busters YouTube page. Woo! We finally have a YouTube page. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, what do you mean by we? Well, if you've been watching videos of mine lately, you see that I have other people that are involved, and we have our own YouTube page to make it easier. A bunch of videos will be uploaded. I'll get into the details on that when the time comes. But anyway, right now, me and my three representatives right now, introducing them, we have J-Dub. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'd just like to say, I have my own personal account, J-Dub989. Don't have to subscribe to that. But we have a new call wrestling show on thevcwwrestling.com. If you like original calls, or even if you just like good call action, tune in and watch it. I've been told it's one of the one of the better call shows, one, and one of the... the is our first season or year, whatever you want to call it, has been uh, was up a few days ago. If you would like to check it out, just check it out. Uh, Shogun. Yo, I'm also from VCW. And I, yeah, I'm also from VCW, and I have my own channel too, but I'm not even going to mention it because I don't have any videos. And of course, a veteran to the YouTube community. You probably know him from my other videos, Macho Jeff. Hey, everybody. On the show. Yeah. And of course, you know that he has his own channel, so it doesn't really yeah. But what we're doing right here for the first episode, I came up with an idea. We were going over it. I, I was thinking about it. If you know what, let's do this. Uh, the Raw and SmackDown Raw shows. We're going to be going over the superstars and seeing what's going to be happening to them in the later future. So to kick off right now, we're going to go through the first wrestler in order by what it says here on WWE.com. Uh, the first wrestler is a diva by the name of Alicia Fox. Um, she's been being used as a mostly a... Like a... Um, she has potential, they don't use her right, she isn't used the way that she should be used, and hopefully if WWE is smart enough now that, some, that Mickey James is gone, that they can push more divas better, she'd definitely be one of them. Guys? Agreed. I, I agree with you, and also, when I first saw her debut, it, they were doing a feud. When she was uh, managing DJ Gabriel, they were doing a feud between Paul Burchill and DJ Gabriel. Paul Burchill and DJ Gabriel have been released since then. But uh, if, during this feud, both their managers, Katie Lee Burchill and Alicia Fox, they had a match. That was Alicia Fox's debut in the ring. In the ring, because I say her debut was when she was at, uh, when she was Edge's wedding planner. But anyways, in her debut in the ring, she was supposed to be like a squash match with Katie Lee Burchill. Because Katie Lee had a few matches before this was supposed to be trained by her brother. And Alicia Fox was just supposed to have a dancer gimmick. But she actually put on a good show, and you could tell even though she was being squashed, she could actually wrestle. She did some high-flying moves, she did some her, her split-legged moves. She, It was a pretty good match, and it was it was good because she was carrying the match. Katie Lee Burchill's a good wrestler, but she was not in that match to win it. And like you already mentioned, you have uh, mentioned before, when you were going over this before, that you haven't seen her in the room. So, the next superstar is Batista. We're just going to skip over him. If you haven't heard lately, he's leaving in a month. So, spoiler alert, John C is going to win it over the limit. Uh, the next, uh, I really don't want to go over these two because it's it's basically the exact same thing everybody's going to say. The Bella Twins, sluts and hosts of the yeah. game hosts, they need to die. Anyway. The Basham sisters. Moving on. No, they're worse than the Bashams. They're worse than anything I can see. They don't even have wrestling talent. Yeah. This is eye candy and a wet man's dream. Anyway. They're not even that good at eye candy either. We could rant on this for days. Let's just move on to the next wrestler. <laughs> next yep. superstar. The next superstar I want to bring up is a superstar that I'm upset about that isn't getting pushed. I actually like him. Uh, that was Gorilla Monsoon. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon. 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 Gorilla Monsoon.
yeah, Joe Henning and Brett DiBiase, uh, as I said, they're both the sons of the Million Dollar Man and Mr. Perfect, are coming in. They're going to make a Fortunate Sons stable. And he approached Carlito about joining the Fortunate Sons to be a Fortunate Son with him. Because I don't know if you know, but Carlito's father is a Puerto Rican legend. He is one of the greatest wrestlers in all of Puerto Rico. Carlos and Colón. What? Yeah, Carlos Colon. Yeah, Carlos Colon. And Carlito basically said, that's not cool. Why would I align with you? And that tells me that he may be having a face turn soon. Especially with this NXT coming to a close and I see Michael Tarver being the first one eliminated. I could see Carlito teaming up with his brother soon. If if not, they're going to end up releasing Primo because he hasn't done anything. Before. He didn't do anything before his brother. He didn't do anything after his brother. Hey, hey, we'll get to Primo when the time comes. All right. Now on the... Anybody else have anything else to say about Carlito? I think he should I, I have to say that he's probably one of my favorite non-main event stars. He's always been good. He's a great heel. Well, he's a now, great that, guy. Now, now that Shelton Benjamin's gone, it's definitely Carlito right now for me. But I think that it would be a great loss to WWE if they got rid of Carlito. Because he's probably one of, the, one of the last guys you know, that is really, really good that would just head to ROH if they released him. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, the next superstar on the list, I already know my opinions on him. He was drafted over to Raw in the draft this past Monday. I know what they're going to do with him, because basically what can't you do with him that already hasn't been done? That would be Chris Jericho. Um, and my thoughts, Chris Jericho going back to Raw, he's going to do the exact same thing he did on SmackDown, because it's not Y2J anymore, so you won't get the Y2J, you know, Raw-style thing, you know, this... You know, Jer- Raw is Jericho shit. He's gonna come on. He's gonna be his boring ass gimmick where he comes in, he does his little walk in the ring. He talks about being parasitic. He's getting too fucking generic nowadays, and I'm really upset. So Chris Jericho can still put on a good match, but I hate when he does a promo because it's the exact same motherfucking thing. And who are they gonna feud with now that Edge might be turning? Well, it looks like he's turning heel. Are they gonna have Edge feud with Cena again? Cena and Edge, uh, Cena and Jericho, Cena. Cena and Jericho had a good feud when they had it, but. That's one thing about Jericho. There's nobody on Raw for him to feud with right now. Because some of the people that they have on Raw... He's supposed to get injured soon so he can go do his tour with Fozzy. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. So he might be coming back as a face when he returns. Maybe. Yeah. If that happens, if that happens, I would freaking work out for the rest of my fucking life. But anyway. I heard I, I heard exactly what Jeff just said. Kind of hinted at him turning face, face. I've, I've heard that he never wants to be face again. I've heard that I've heard both sides of the story. I've heard I know that he's leaving soon to go tour with Fonzie because they have a tour of Australia and the UK soon. I know he's going to be leaving. They'll probably play the injury gimmick. They'll probably have Edge do it. Edge is heel now, so when Jericho returns, he'll be face. Hopefully that happens. Blake, your opinions on Jericho? Right. He's definitely one of the. I don't know. Like he seems to be like one of the uh, underrated legends. Like they don't treat him like it. But I really think he's probably one of the he, I think he is one of the best. Like he's like you know how all the veterans are leaving now. He's one of the you know He's one of the greatest of all time. Exactly. He's one of the greatest of all time. You can't take right. here forever. This is what I consider. Jericho is WWE, how Angle is TNA. How Angle is considered the greatest wrestler right now for TNA, Jericho is for WWE. And he's so good. And I think him and him and Edge are probably gonna be like the leading legends of the next generation, you know, they'll be to us what Michaels and Taker are to, you know, and NH. Yeah. All right, so we'll move. Yeah, trips too. Next superstar. Now, next superstar. I, I guess I would have to say. Um, it's because if it's a, if it's a tag team, I'm gonna combine them together so I don't go single superstar. You give your opinions on both. Uh, it would be the Hart Dynasty, Tyson Kidd, and David Hart Smith. My opinions on this: as soon as they drop the tag team title, these two are gonna split up. Tyson Kidd can work a singles match. When he was on ECW, he did it really good. David Hart Smith. Ah, that's, 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 all I, that's all I can really say. I, he's not. I don't like him on my. His move set is a generic big man move set. I don't know what to say. You guys have anything to say about the Hart Times? I think they're gonna have a half year title reign. I'm putting it this way. I'm not including Natalya in this one. It's just Tyson and David. I think they're going to get a big title reign, and as soon as they drop them, like you said, they're going to go for a singles run. I I don't I think that the British Bulldog son, I forget his name, D.H. Smith, he's going to be there for a while, but he's not going to get a push, and Tyson's kid is going to be the same thing. 
I think Pike credibility. All right, well, if folks. Cruiserweight championship, he's obviously going to win it multiple times. Yeah, if they bring back the cruiserweight. Well, folks, that that is the first part of the Dude Busters Part One. Oh, uh, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. I'm Scott Harris for Double A Shogun and Macho Jeff. Thank you.